Hello, this is actually avichelps at live.com. Uh, this is actually the installation guide for the F900, F700, F710 and F910 BT models. Um, this is going to be actually filmed in um, real time so you'll see exactly how long it takes. Normally it takes about 20 minutes for the installation altogether. So first of all you start the, the, the car up. I suggest you run the engine, I won't do it on this case because it does actually um, basically run down the battery so because you'll be needing to actually have the stereo running for about th approximately 30 minutes. When it, when it starts up please note there's no SD card in this particular drive. You actually place both your, the menu, the map, the eject and you'll see there's a tiny button there called reset. If you've got to hold all those three in at the same time. Now hold these three buttons in. You now wait approximately 10 seconds. When 10 seconds have, have gone by, release the stylus away from actually the reset button and then you, you'll see this blue screen. This is the engineer screen. This is what we're doing first of all is we're going to upgrade the firmware. So what we need to do is we need to use the button, the menu button here, um, to actually uh, put in the code. So it's one press up, one press up, one press down, press the menu button once, press left and press right. And what you'll see here now, you've got a choice on this menu. We want to select the WinCE upgrade, which is the top menu, which is zero. So you just press the button in. And then you've got the next choice, which is the zero again, WinCE by SD MMC format. So what you're going to do now is the card that you've got, where you've actually either downloaded the software, or it's actually on the card itself. Um, you insert the card into the drive. The right way will helps. Just... Like so. Then what you do is you select by pressing the button in WinCE by SDMMC format. You press this in and you'll see at the bottom it says read progress. You wait till it reads it 100% then writes it 100% and then it will tell you then it's actually written the firmware. There we go, it's writing now. That's completed. We wait till you get the message. There we go. So that says it's all been upgraded as OK. That means it's now upgraded with the new latest firmware that's actually been supplied by myself. Um, this will actually open up the device to accept any maps, um, TomTom or Navgate maps. Uh, Navtech uh, maps which I get four times a year um, where you can update your system and make sure it keeps it all current. Okay so now what you do now is you, you keep the card in the drive and then you press the reset button. Now with the card in the drive it will boot into Windows CE, which is the familiar screen which you'll see. What you need to do is click on the top, very top, my device, then right on the right hand side control panel, and then stylus. And then you want calibration. It's 
quite tricky because at this point the actual the stylus is not calibrated and that's why it's actually moving everywhere that you want it to there we go we go recalibrate and just press the middle of each cross so it knows exactly where the position is when it's all done you just tap it and you go OK at the top you close that off then what you need to do now is you need to go to the storage card so you click on storage card you look for the actual the folder my flash disk copy from which is the second one on the left double click on that now everything in this folder you need to copy over to your AVIC so you press edit as you can see it's quite tricky because we might have to recalibrate the stylus again this is right at the top it must be really precise so let's recalibrate that again let's try that again so storage card my flash disk edit there we go you go select all you go file and you go copy so you go edit and then you go copy what you do now we if you look at on the right hand side you'll see there's a little folder with an arrow pointing up you press that once and you, most importantly you press it again okay because you want to look for the my flash disk which is the third icon on the left you double click that and this is where you want to deposit those files so you go file so you go edit and you go paste now it's going to copy these all into here you will get this come up you go yes to all and this is where it's copying all the files and the, and the maps over to the actual device this will take approximately 20 minutes um, ignore the time it says on the bottom there um, the reason why it overwrites certain files because at the moment when we actually updated the firmware we we wipe the actual memory on the actual uh, device itself so um, although what the device does is when it starts up it, it uses that folder as a temporary folder to write files so that's why you get the occasional file in there And all you do is overwrite. So now we'd actually just watch what's happening. Although this says 57 minutes, it, it, trust me, it takes 20 minutes. This is a good point to go and make yourself a cup of tea or coffee.
Now it's coming up with more realistic time, but they go quicker than this. If ever you need any help, um, just contact me on Avic Help. That's A V I C H E L P at live.com or on our website, which is pioneeravic.com. Just actually anything, well, if you ty uh, type anything into the support question sheet on there, then I will get straight back to you. This firmware it also removes the NAG screen. It gives a slightly different look to the system. Um, it enables the TMC to be more intelligent. So basically, you would be able to actually. Um, it will give you a choice of routing options um, if it detects there's actually traffic on the on the route that you've actually selected. Um, so it's it's much much better now. Um, it's a lot faster. The map rejoins a lot faster. It's just a completely different system, but using this package, you can keep your system up to date and currently running the most latest maps that are available. I always, we always do options to actually just install the maps, so you don't need to ever re, uh, update the firmware again. That's only done as a one-off. Um, the maps are very easy to install, which I will show you in a separate video. I would also do a video to show you how to back up your system, so you can do that either before you install the firmware and hard uh, firmware and software, and also I'll be doing also another video to show you how to install the speed cameras.
as you can see we're 17 18 minutes in and it's actually showing nine minutes Please note also that this update will remove all your favourites, will remove all your history. So if there's anything that you want to keep, please make a note of it. Um, you would do use the cam camera on your phone to actually uh, photograph what history you, you want to keep or just make a, a note of it on pen and paper um, because you'd have to put that information back in. This installation I'm doing is the latest 2015 quarter four maps, which I only received yesterday, which was actually April the 12th, 2015. 
2016 so I normally get the map updates every three months so I should in three months time have the 2016 quarter one update those of you that want custom logo screens that start up there is actually a folder on the SD card called pictures they're all installed in there I'll show you how to install those shortly Just the fact that the SD cards that you can use on these machines, they have to be formatted FAT32 on a Windows system um, to be able to be compatible with these machines. The maximum size you can go up to is 16 gigabytes. You can store videos and you can store MP3 files on here for playing. This update also removes any DVD um, region zone locking, so it's reset to zero, so anything will play on here. You will actually find there's no nag screens anymore, which is a great result, plus also it's actually a lot faster, which is another plus. You also no longer need to have, or if you have it connected or you haven't connected it yet, the handbrake cable doesn't need to be connected anymore because I've removed that option within the software and the firmware. So basically it will play video while on the move. This software is in all the European countries languages for the spoken as well as actually the system software. Nearly finished.
please know with all instructions there's there's two instructions sets on the actual SD card one is actually a PDF which is um, you must print this off so you can actually see exactly what I've done here um, there's also an extra installation guide which you need to print off as well um, as well as this video they should all help you to actually install it but I'm here to help you if there's any problems There we are, that's it all installed. If you still haven't finished yet, I'll show you what else you have to do. So first of all, eject the SD card, that's important because otherwise when you restart it, it will boot automatically into the Windows C environment. So you just press the reset. It will take a bit longer than normal to start up. But what you'll notice is the menu map color buttons, they will actually start changing and flashing different colors. That means the update's been successful. There we go. Wait till that system startup in progress screen goes, which is now. Then what I'd like you to do is now insert your SD card again into the drive. This is the next important procedure because if you click now onto phone and phone settings, You see the Bluetooth, it comes up, we've not found. So what we need to do is the following to actually reboot the Bluetooth software. So what you do is press reset with the SD card and the drive. We're going to go back into Windows CE again. There's two directories where we need to actually delete files. This is very important you follow this procedure. Again, I would suggest you actually configure your stylus so it makes it a lot more precise. Calibrate. So just want to get it right in the middle of that cross again. If you don't hit it precisely, it'll restart again. There you are. So that's fine. So you go OK. Then you click off the top clip the crosshair to actually get to the then you open my device again you want to go into my flash disk on the actual AVIC so it's the third one from the left you double click that one then you'll see there's folders you want to click on user user data I go and save open that up see all those files that need to be deleted so you go edit nope, got to configure my stylus again so because you need it to have it really precise my device again remember third one from the left user user data I go folder save and click on edit
can see the angle that I'm attacking is at, so it's better with me. So I'm going to go a little bit. I'm going to go a bit lower. Okay, let's try again. So, user, user data, I go, save, we can edit. There we go. Click select all, and click on file, click on delete. Confirm by saying yes. Click up. Click up again. Then you want this folder set up. You click on set up and go edit again. Select all. File. <coughs> delete. Confirm. Now eject your SD card. Remove it, then we press reset. Now this will start it up like a new machine, so it'll ask you things like language settings, etc. I'll show you how to set up some basic settings on this. This one does take a little bit longer, but you'll know when you're there because the actual the menu and map button will start changing colour. There you go. So we select English, English again, and that's it. So now if you're going to phone, you're going to phone settings, you go down, you'll see Bluetooth software update. If you click on that, you see now it's got the Bluetooth on there. So you can now actually connect to your phone. But let me just show you a few settings that you need to actually do. You go into settings, navigation settings, warnings. Please set those on when speeding so the speed cameras will work. Uh, speed camera, that one, sorry. Let's confirm yes. Then what you do now is you do GPS and time settings. Just check that that's all set and you're reading satellites, that's good. Regional settings, kilometers it will default to, so you want to set it to miles and feet if you're in the UK. Date, month and year is fine if you want 12 hour, 24 hour. Okay, come out of that. Now, if you go on about, and you click on maps it now tells you here what maps are installed the actual year and the quarter okay okay if you click on map there we go you see you've got the mapping data on there this is actually the speed that you're traveling at this is showing you actually the speed of the road okay so let me just do a menu.
Now, if you want to actually install any pictures for your startup screen, if you go into settings, system settings, got your splash screen there. If you put your card in there, you go import from SD card, and then you've got your choice of all your different ones on there. It'll come up with this main thing, non playable tracks, because it's actually trying to play music from it. So just pick which one you want. So I'll pick that Mercedes one. And then just behind it, you'll see there's an OK. So just tap the stylus OK there. And that's just, that has actually adjusted your screen. You can now do illumination colour. So the illumination of the buttons, which is the Mercedes, I'm going to go for that colour. So it matches with all the actual other screen colours. You can now eject the SD card. That's a menu and map. Congratulations, you've finished your install.